What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over, um, this is what they call an educational event in Medicare. There's two different types of events. There's a marketing event and an educational event. Um, uh, we're definitely going to be doing an educational event, so it tells a little bit about Medicare, what it is, Medicare 101, um, when you should look at signing up for that, and when you should, you know, and then your options that you can do after that, mm -hmm. and then the different parts, because there's different parts of Medicare. So I'll start right now. Um, Basically, like I said, I'm Bruce, I'm with PK Insurance, I'm from Vena, uh, local here. I do Medicare insurance, I'm a Medicare specialist, but I also do car insurance, I also do home insurance, I do all that. So, uh, but my specialty definitely is Medicare. Uh, the, uh, we're going to talk about Medicare in general, Medicare 101. Um, when are you eligible for Medicare? Basically when you turn 65. So if you turn 65, you're eligible. Um, you have a window. So it's uh, two months before your birth date month, your birth date month, and two months after your birth date month. So that's when you can sign up for. So once you sign up, the month after you sign up, you start your Medicare. Uh, unless you signed up either the month after you sign up or your birth date month. So like if you sign up two months before Medicare, you wouldn't start until your birth date month. So um, that's how Medicare works as far as that. Uh, should you sign up? Most of the time you should. <laughs> uh, there are some instances though, since uh, if you are employed, you can, as long as your employer has over, as long as your employer has over 20 employees, um, you can keep your current health coverage that you have now. Okay? You can keep that uh, and just sign up for Medicare Part A. So the benefit of that is Medicare Part A is, is uh, hospitalization insurance, okay? So as long as you work 10 years, you get that for free. It doesn't cost you anything. As long as you've worked at least 10 years. Um, is that at any job or, or is that the job? Yeah, as long as you pay 10 years into Social Security, I should okay. say. Okay. If you pay 10 years okay. into Social Security, then you will get that. Um, you will get that for free or have a spouse that's paid at least 10 years into Social Security. So you'll get Medicare Part A free. So you'll get that that you can use in addition to your employer insurance, okay? So if you want to keep your employer insurance, you can still do that. Uh, that also opens up a thing that you won't have any penalties. I'm sure you've already heard about the penalties mm -hmm. and that sort. If you carry employer insurance that's as good or better than Medicare, then you can keep your employer insurance and you will not be subject to penalties. It'll allow you to be have a one-time enroll, a one-time enrollment, a special enrollment, um, once you retire. So once you retire, you can then sign up for Medicare. Now there is another option that you may want to take uh, advantage of, though. A lot of times, Medicare costs less than your current employee plan. So what we do is we look at the, so if you get a good advisor, they can look at your current employee plan and see which one would be better for you. See which one save you actually more money. Your employee plan or your, um, the current plan that you have now. So that's always a good thing to, to be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't sign up for Medicare in time, um, the penalties that you're subject to, is you, you have 10%, they'll, they will penalize you 10% of your Part B premium uh, for life every single year you don't sign up. On your Part D, which is your prescription drug plan portion, it's 1% if you don't sign up in time. Every single month that you don't sign up in time for life, <laughs> uh, if you don't sign up in time for that. But again, if you have that employee plan that you stay with, you'll be exempt of those, okay, okay. And as far as that goes. Um, but like I said, I strongly recommend looking at the Medicare plans because most of the time you'll pay less than your employer plans. Uh, that's one of the big advantages of being eligible for Medicare for the I'm first sorry. time. Did you say pay is better to go through that than your job insurance? Most of the time, yes. Really? Once, you, once you first are eligible for Medicare, which is 65, <laughs> Usually, with a, over 90% of the people that I've talked to, you usually pay less on Medicare than you do on your employer plan. 
you know, the chaos. Yeah. So with my situation, mm -hmm. I'm still working. Yeah. But my husband just retired last year. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so I'm still got him on my insurance. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, Maybe he still has you on your insurance. He's sixty-five. Yourself? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I'm still working. Right, but he, he has you on your insurance or? No, he's on my insurance. Oh, he's on your insurance. I'm still employed. While you're still employed. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, so he would have an exemption too once you, once you turn 65. Uh -huh. You can, you have an option, and I was just telling about this late student, you have an option that you can either keep your employer insurance that you have now, as long as your employer has more than 20 employees. Yeah, um, hospital. Oh, definitely. So you can keep that option or you can sign up for Medicare. You have the choice of both. So I strongly advise you get with a Medicare advisor and then we, they can look at the di dollar differences and figure what that is. Okay, now he, he has not signed up for Medicare even though he turned 65 last year. Right. This year. Mm -hmm. This year. Okay. So, but we need to sign up? No, not because he's underneath. Hello. Do you have a PowerPoint? I don't. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry about that. No, you're okay. So, basically, you, you don't have to, because he has you underneath your insurance now, you're employed. Okay. So, you're falling within that exemption, a special enrollment period, since he's under, underneath you. So, once you don't anymore though, he's going to need to. You'll have to sign up for Part A and Part B. Um, along if you choose Medicare, then you would have, you would of course sign up for it back and then he would have to sign up for it too. At that point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Part A and Part B costs. And what's the difference between Medicare Part A and Part B? So really break it down, Part A is hospital insurance. Okay, so that's hospital. Um, it's also um, skilled care, so like nursing home insurance and that sort. If you go from the hospital to the nursing home, they cover that on Medicare and Part A. Um, outpatient services are on Part A too. Um, that's all part of Part A. As long as you've worked, like I said, at least 10 years paying into Social Security, or a spouse paid into Social Security for 10 years, you don't pay anything for Part A. Part B is doctor's insurance. So Part B would be for your doctor, uh, outpatient services, immunizations, durable medical equipment, um, vaccinations. Uh, there's a lot of different things that, that pays for. Uh, once a year screens and different things like that, Part B pays for most of that too. Um, but Part B, there is a premium for that. Okay, this next year, it's $174 every single month. So you will pay $174 every single month to do Part B, unless you're on a Medicaid plan or something like that. And a lot of those can be absorbed as far as costs. And I can give more details individually on that later, because <laughs> there's many different tiers. Um, but again, $174 a month, you want to pay for Part B to get those services. Um, how Part A and B uh, works is, in, of course, they offer this as your health care, but you still have to pay co-payments, you still have to pay co-insurances, you still pay, have to pay all those types of things. So, and you don't have prescription drug insurance unless you get Part D. That's the Part D you hear about. So A, hospital, B, doctor, D, prescription, okay? Those are the basis that you, that you need to sign up for to be able to get the right type of health care coverage. Um, if you go to the hospital on Part A though, you have to pay $1,600. There's a $1,600 deductible before they start paying. So you will get the first 60 days once you're in the hospital for hospital fees at zero cost and you just pay that $1,600. Um, after that, 60 to uh, 90 days, you'll pay $400 a day. After that, you'll pay 90 days to 150, you pay $800 a day. So, and then after 150 days, they don't pay anything. So if you were in the hospital for a long period of time, it can be very, very costly uh, for Medicare. Um, actually, you guys, I'm gonna hand out 
all the things that are going on here, I'm going to hand these out to you. I'll take them. Oh, there you go. There's some desk folks back there. Yeah. So, all these things. Yeah. So, thank you. And then that gentleman back there. Yeah. So, I'll take you Yeah. Thank you. So, um, thank you. That's the cost of Medicare. That's what Medicare costs. So, a lot of people then, you don't want to have to pay all those costs. <laughs> and then at 150 days or more, think of that. You're subject to all those. You don't, I mean, they don't pay for anything. Nothing. So that's why they've come up with two different ways to solve this. They've come with Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare Supplement plans. You always hear about those all there. They're always advertising on TV and all these different types of things. Uh, both help solve that. And what I mean by that, we'll go with the Medicare Advantage plan first. Medicare Advantage plan is uh, privatized through the government to healthcare companies like Aetna, United Healthcare, any of those, to offer you plans through private insurance places to have just as good as insurance as Medicare has, plus more things with it. So for example, instead of paying that 60 to 90, 90 to 150, and not have any insurance to 150 or more, if you sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan or a Medicare Supplement plan, those costs go away. You will incur those costs. As an example, an, an Advantage plan, we're, just, we're gonna go in that category first. An Advantage plan, usually one to five days or one to seven days you pay anywhere between, depending on which plan you sign up for, between $250 to $350 a day for your first five to seven days. If you're in the hospital, only if you're in the hospital, and it doesn't cost you anything after that. So, nothing, 60, 150, none of that. That's all you take care of after that period of time. Another advantage of a Medicare Advantage plan is that you get, because A and B do not pay vision, dental, <laughs> hearing, any of that stuff. Where a Medicare Advantage plan is like an all-in-one, it pays for all those things. So it's going to help pay for your vision, it's going to help pay for your dental, it's going to pay for all those types of things. The uh, disadvantage of the Medicare Advantage plan, and then I'll go into the, why there's a supplement plan out there, is that it's the same type of insurance that you've always had through an employer. So. If you have an employer plan, you can't just go to any doctor you want anywhere. So you're limited to the doctors within the network. Well, that's what a Medicare Advantage plan, too, is also. Because you're working with specific health companies that have a specific network. So if you go to Medicare Advantage plan, you have to stay within the doctor's network. So you can't just go to any dentist or vision. You just have to stay within that network. So as long as you do that, then you're fine within a Medicare Advantage plan. Um, Another thing within the Medicare Advantage plan is called uh, prior authorizations. So you have to follow the, the, the code. You have to see the doctor to see a specialist to be able to get things done. Um, sometimes on procedures, they have to prior authorize it to be able to get something done. So sometimes things can take a little bit longer when you do a Medicare Advantage plan because it's the same thing as your employer plan. So it's basically that kind of thing, and that's how that's set, that's set up. One of the key advantages of a Medicare Advantage plan, though, is most of the time there's zero premium. So you know you pay that $174 a month I talked about Part B? Well, you'll always have to pay that. But if you get a Medicare Advantage plan, you don't pay any extra premium. You just pay just that, and that's it. And you get all those extra benefits I just talked about. So. Also, just like employer plan, though, Medicare Advantage plan, you do have to pay some co-payments, you do have to pay some co-insurance, procedures to get things done, you have to pay those. They're, in comparison to most health plans, though, drastically less. Like on a health plan, let's say, for example, if you got an MRI, most of the time that's around $1,500 to $2,500. On a Medicare Advantage plan, that's usually around $100 to get an MRI, okay? So again, those costs are drastically less on that type of plan. Um, so that's the advantages and the disadvantages of the Medicare Advantage plan. The advantage of a Medicare Supplement plan is it's totally different. There's no privatizing of health companies. 
that is kind of like a part of original Medicare. The first thing I was telling you about A, B, and D, those are all part of like original Medicare. So what a supplement plan does is it picks up all extra costs, okay? You pay a one-time $200 to $300 deductible, and then if you go see a doctor, after you pay that deductible, you don't pay anything. You go to the hospital, doesn't matter how long you're in there, you don't pay anything. Uh, it covers, and I mean nothing. It doesn't matter how high it gets, everything's covered on the doctor and hospital side. Uh, immunizations, all that stuff. You don't pay any of that stuff with the supplement plan. And you have any network you want to. You want to go see a doctor in Illinois? Sure, go see a doctor in Illinois. <laughs> you have a second house in Florida, and you want, to, and you have a, um, a doctor that you like to work with down there? Yeah, sure, you can go to that doctor. You can go to any doctor that you want to, or any specialist, as long as they accept Medicare. Um, so a lot of freedom with the supplement plan. So why doesn't everybody just do that? Well, the reason why is a supplement plan costs a premium every single month, where an advantage plan does not. A supplement plan can cost between zero or between 110 to 250 dollars a month. A new supplement plan, and a supplement plan on top of that, and that's in addition to the 174 dollars that you're paying a month on the Part B. So. In addition to that, a supplement plan does not cover vision, does not cover dental, does not cover hearing, does not cover any prescription drugs. So you'd have to sign up for a prescription drug plan. You'd have to sign up for a separate vision plan if you wanted coverage, a separate head. So you can imagine all those costs now. So you have the supplement plan, you got what the vision plan is, you got, you got all those costs. <laughs> so it can get quite costly to be able to do that. Definitely the plan with the most freedom. Definitely the plan with, uh, when it comes with doctors and hospitals and things like that. And also you never have to deal with any prior, prior authorizations with the supplement plan. So a lot of freedoms there, but again, the costs can get much, much higher. Um, and that's the two areas that people, 90% of the time that you want to go with it after you get your Part A and your B set up uh, to go there. Medicare Advantage plans also include prescription drug plans 90% of the time. So you don't have to sign up for that Part D to get your prescription drugs. Um, prescription drug plans are usually not that expensive, uh, and that's Part D where I'm going to next. Part D is so you can continue to get prescription drugs. Paying for them separately, anywhere between $7 a month up to about $80 to $100 a month for a prescription drug plan. Most of them fall in that seven to fifteen dollars a month. Usually, not much more than that. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, they will pay for uh, a lot of your prescriptions. If you're on generic prescriptions, tier one and tier two prescriptions, they call them generic prescriptions. Most of the time, those prescriptions are zero cost on prescription drug plan. Prescription drug plan. Uh, this next year, to actually this last year and this year also, uh, if you take any type of um, if you have any type of metformin for diabetes, or if you have any, you take any type of insulin, um, they cap it at $35 a month now on the prescription drug plan. So, very important to get that if you don't go the Medicare Advantage route. You definitely want to get that if you get, have a supplement plan. So there's a lot of benefits to be, of course, of doing that. Um, so that's A, B, and D. The Part C they talk about on, on Medicare is just another name for Medicare Advantage plan, <laughs> so which we just went over. So, A hospital, B, um, A hospital, B is your um, doctor, C is Medicare Advantage, D is prescription drugs. So, that's it. That's Medicare. Um, I'll go on individually. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody. Um, and go into more details. I am, like I said, a specialized advisor. So, again, I'm more than happy to, to talk to any one of you individually, um, especially if you're getting near, the, near that. You definitely want to be able to sign up for Medicare, and I can give you all the information on how to do that, and then you know what directions to go from there. So you definitely want to get a hold of me, and I can help you out. Absolutely. So, any questions? Yes. Sure. So, 
with the Medicare once yeah. you sign up. Mm -hmm. So are you seeing that you can have the Medicare supplement, but yet you don't have to have the Medicare Advantage? You can sign up e either or. You can sign up for a Medicare supplement plan, or you can sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan. You have to sign up for Part A and B. Okay. Then from there, uh -huh. you have a choice that you can go to. You can go to Medicare Advantage, or you can go to Medicare Supplement. So you can do either or. Advantage, you don't have a monthly premium. Medicare Supplement, you have that 110 to $200 monthly premium, depending on what they figure out for them. So the Medicare Advantage, there is no? There's no premium, no. I mean, there are some that are, some are like $20 or $15. For the most part, most Medicare Advantage plans are zero premium. Why wouldn't people just do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's advantage for both, okay? Now, as an example, we'll say, um, let's say you have a lot of health costs, okay? okay? Let's say you're entering in the hospital and you have a lot of health costs, and you know you're going to have a lot of health costs. I had a gentleman recently with uh, ESRD uh, that went in, and um, he's going to have a tremendous amount of health costs. Well, Medicare Advantage plans have what they call maximum out of pocket. So that's anywhere from $3,000 up to about $7,000. So once you pay that, if you had to pay that, anything after that amount, you don't have to pay anything on, on a Medicare Advantage plan. But even the ones at the most minimum, let's say $3,500 for the year, if you add up that $100 a month premium every single month on a Medicare supplement plan, it only comes up to about $1,200 to $1,500 a year. So if you know you're going to be in the hospital a lot, it would cost less to be on a Medicare supplement plan, even though you're paying all the... Now, of course, you're still going to pay for the dental, the vision, and all the things like that, but we all know where most of the costs are. Most of the costs are if you had to be in the hospital for a long period of time or something like that, and you know you are, then it's sometimes, even though it's not affordable up front, it's, it will pay off more for you on that hospital side if you know you're going to be experiencing that type of stuff. Um, but again, on the Medicare Advantage plan, that's why they put that maximum out of pocket on there as a safety, <coughs> excuse me, so you know after that to pay for it. So, so what if you don't have to go and be in the hospital that often, but you go to the doctor's often? Well, then, <laughs> then that's a good question. A lot of the, uh, uh, and if you like a Medicare, if the Medicare Advantage plan sounds better to you, but you see the doctor a lot, then get a Medicare Advantage plan with a zero uh, PCP visit. So that, what that means, PCP means uh, primary care physician. Uh -huh. So if your doctor is in the network, choose a Medicare plan where they have zero dollar uh, PCP. So that means every time you visit, you don't pay them anybody. <coughs> okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that kind of helps solve that, which there's many Medicare Advantage plans that do that. There's zero PCP. Some of them are as little as $20 to see a specialist. Um, so, yeah. You have cards here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> great, I've got, great. I've got, I've got a thing that you can sign up for. I've got cards. Um, Good. Good. Yeah, and, um, yeah, absolutely. I'd be more than happy to help anybody individually right? and go over anything that you have. Anything like that. Any other questions? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm sure you will. Hear the handout I gave you is general information. It tells a little bit about everything. But again, if you need anything individual, um, you can. I say I've got. I've got a sign-up sheet up here. You can, you can, if you want me to call you, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, I'll give you my card if you want to do that instead. I'll put my personal phone number on there too, which you'll reach me all the time. So, okay. What's your name? My name's Bruce Dar. I'm sorry to hear the last name. Dar. D A R R. I'm with BK Insurance. If you want to get, I'll just say BK or DK. B, BK. 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 This is Ben. He owns the insurance agency. That's Ben. It stands for Ben Kelly. BK Insurance. Yeah. It's local. It's here in Rivera. Good to see a young person. Young person. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah.